learn how to insert or add uh, an image uh, such as your Bitmoji to your Schoology course or group if you are an admin. Um, so to have an image be displayed, it needs to be in a folder format as, as much as I know at this point in my journey on Schoology. Uh, if anyone has any other tips or tricks, maybe you can add it to the comments below. Um, so I added a Bitmoji of myself uh, for my students who I was going to be meeting virtually this summer session online. Uh, so I thought it would be something fun to kind of be a little more inviting uh, now that we're doing many things remotely. So um, before we even get to inserting the image and doing that, you do need to have a Bitmoji account. So if you don't have one, you can go to uh, the bitmoji.com website um, and it looks like you might be able to create an account from here, although it does say download on the App Store or on Google Play, so you might need to download it to your desktop. If not, it seems like it might just be easier to do so on your phone or mobile device. Uh, so I'm here on my sandbox now. So before I'm ready to add materials and everything, I do need to make sure that after creating my Bitmoji or at least signing my login information, I need to add the Bitmoji application here to my Chrome browser. So to do that, we're going to open a new window. Now that I don't need this bitmoji.com window, I'm going to close it. New window with Google, and you're going to look for Chrome Store. So it'll be the first thing that comes up. You'll click there, Chrome Store. And on the left-hand side, there's a search here, and you're going to write bitmoji enter and you're going to click add to Chrome store and you're going to click add extension and here it is loading checking and there it is so Bitmoji has been added to Chrome so It'll also populate this page. Um, and for me, because I have already logged in before, um, and for the purposes of this tutorial, I just had removed it. Uh, it says, welcome back. Um, but if you have not logged in, uh, it should prompt you to insert your login information, and then you'll be able to move forward from there. So now every time you click here at the Chrome um, browser area, at the Bitmoji little icon, um, your icon should load and should have all these fun things here. So we want to add some kind of welcome or something for our students here. So I'm going to click add materials and click add folder. And so I'm going to quickly just move this a little out of the way. So I'm going to write my title uh, welcome. And I'm going to choose green because I like green. Put that, I believe it was here. <laughs> so, um, next, we need to choose what Bitmoji we would like to add to our uh, description area here. So, you can click the Bitmoji icon, and I'm going to just type welcome um, because I do know that they have many um, welcome images, whether welcome back, aloha, things like that. Um, they do have Bitmojis here that change with whatever you type in. So as you can see, the words change. So some are able to be edited, although many are not. So for those that are preset, I think this one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to right click and save image as. So I'm going to save this to my desktop because just that's just my personal preference. And I'm going to name it Bitmoji Welcome so I can find it easily. Oh, and I already have one, so I'm going to replace it. And now to insert that image, I'm going to click this little arrow here. Uh, it looks like it's you know going into the box. Click image, attach file, and I'm going to look for my Bitmoji welcome, and there it is. I'm going to open.
and there we have it. So there's your Bitmoji. It should be entered and you can do that with any of the Bitmojis that you choose. Uh, I'm just giving the example of um, creating a welcome message. You can even um, click here beside your Bitmoji, press the space bar or the return uh, and write a little message. Uh, welcome. Oop. Welcome students to the first uh, semester or whatever you would like to say. Um, you can also just leave it as is and press create. All right, so your new folder will always appear at the very bottom. So here it is. Uh, and so to move it uh, to the I guess the uppermost area of your page, you can click on the folder itself and drag and it will kind of highlight a little bit in gray and you can let go and drop it and you'll be able to leave it there. And so in this folder, because we have not added anything, when you click on it, it will be empty at this point. So you can return to the home page by clicking materials. Um, and you can insert other pages in there or whatever you would like to do. Um, me personally, on my other um, page, I had just left it as is um, and left information on the outside of the folder itself with this outward presenting um, text and did not add anything inside. And it hasn't been a problem at all. So it, it's worked well for me. So um, I hope this information helps. And best of luck.